Hello, Mark here. Trust you all well. I've been a Lightroom Classic user since 2007. And for the past 10 years, I've been teaching Lightroom and Lightroom Classic. I truly believe that Lightroom Classic is the industry's leading software for photographers to manage, edit and share our images and videos. In 2017, some 10 years after the release of Classic, Adobe bought out Lightroom, then known Lightroom CC, then Lightroom Mobile, and it's been slowly evolving. Now for my workflow, probably 70 to 80% of that is in Classic. But the architecture that the engineers built Classic upon is quite limited. It is archaic, it's, it's, it's a legacy infrastructure. It's non-compliant to a connected world. And I don't think Adobe or any organization really could have seen where we are today and how we can move forward in the next 20, 50 years time with technology. So they couldn't see this connected AI. They couldn't see that we'd be taking pictures on our phones, mirrorless technology, all that in 20, 2007 was alien, I think, to the architects. So Lightroom was released and Lightroom was an infrastructure or is an infrastructure where the majority of the ecosystem is in the cloud. And that meant that Adobe was in control of future proofing our workflows. Now, earlier on this year, Adobe launched local storage for Lightroom. And I felt that this was the start of the journey of retirement of Classic. Now looking into the community of Lightroom users and the other conversation with trainers and Adobe credited um, bug testers and, and other users, the conversation has started. A serious conversation has now started of moving to Lightroom and the advantages that it gives us photographers. So I feel that Classic will be retired in the next five to 10 years because the architecture it was built on is not serviceable. It's a local device, it's a local piece of software, and it was not designed for how we use photography today. I think it will still be supported as in new cameras, new lenses, bug fixes, OS fixes, that type of thing. But I think in five to 10 years time, they will not bring new functionality to Classic. So whilst Classic will still work, I do feel that it is now time to really consider Lightroom as a true opportunity of exploring our, our practice and our images. So with that, 2024 is going to be a journey for me. Whilst Lightroom is probably about 30%, 20-30% of my workflow at the moment, I'm going to seriously spend 2024 looking at my workflow and how I can be ready for that switch over. I will still use Classic, but I feel that it is time now that Lightroom is, is given the opportunity to become the main digital asset management, editing and sharing piece of software in my photography. Now, please don't misunderstand me. There are lots of things in Lightroom that 
do not work the same way or offers us the same as what Classic does. So for example, no color labels. That is a big workflow for, my, for myself in Classic. How can I work within Lightroom without color labels? I don't have an answer. Smart collections, they are not available in Lightroom. There is a great uh, functionality using their artificial intelligence. So if you put up your images into the cloud, you can type the word waterfall. And even if you haven't keyworded the image, Adobe has scanned the image and it comes back with the content, a waterfall. So no metadata, it's in the cloud, it'll bring back a waterfall image that you've taken. So it's very, very interesting the way um, Lightroom is, is moving. Another example, there's no map module, which I would love map module because I like zooming in on the map, finding all the images that where I was in a particular location and just flipping through the little grid view there is on the map module and looking at those images. There is in Lightroom the GPS, but it's single image on a little map when you go to the, the information section in uh, uh, full screen. So there's, there's lots of nuances, changes, and I'm sure because Lightroom is 10 years behind Classic, that Lightroom will catch up. So for me, it's about being prepared for that switch over. And that's what 2024 is going to be for me. I will still be using, probably 50% of my workflow will be in Classic, but I'm going to increase the workflow from 20, 30% to 50% in Lightroom. So I'm ready for that move from Classic to Lightroom. That's if I make it. So if you are interested in coming on this journey with me, exploring Lightroom, getting ready for that switch over, when Classic is no longer, in my opinion, serviced. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, please. Perhaps visit learnlightroom.co.uk, sign up for my newsletter, and join me on this journey. Journey of exploration of can Lightroom replace Classic? Can I work with my images anywhere in the world, which I, I have actually in Classic, I have a workflow that all my images that I've got stored on my Drobo that's sitting here, which I'm about to replace, they're all in the cloud from Classic. How can I, how can I improve my relationship with Lightroom Classic and Lightroom with the eventuality that Light, Adobe may move to Lightroom. So as I say, please uh, subscribe, join me on this journey, and hopefully we'll learn together what Adobe's going to do in the future and how we can work smarter, not harder within Lightroom as we have done with Classic. Bye for now.